So it is 3.30. I have been out since 9.30. I had packages to send out. Then I came back because I had another package to send out that I got while I was out. Went to Salvation Army and then the Goodwill and then went back to the post office to drop off that package. And now I'm back home and I am starving. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since 8.30. But if I don't do this now, it'll never get done. Uh, the last thing I had out is the San Francisco video. I'm so sorry, my cat. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for you guys who watched it. It wasn't anything big, but I just wanted to share with you guys. So, hi guys, my name's Natalie. Thank you so much for joining me one more time here on my channel, Electric Hanger. Um, I'm just gonna get started with the haul because it's not very much, but I went yesterday and then of course this long day today, like I said, it's 3.30. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on home goods stuff. Um, it's the first thing I saw. So the first thing I saw actually was this dope stein. It's a stein, right? It's like a beer stein. I love it. Um, the bottom says made in Germany. Like everything has tab still, by the way. Um, so I'll let you guys know all the prices. Uh, but this one is made in Germany, Germany, KUF core. I don't know, but it was $1.99, $2.00. And it has a little stamp right there. And then there's the bottom. Yeah, I thought it was super cool. Um, I couldn't find anything on it online. So, I don't know. I liked it. It's really heavy. It's obvious. It's handmade. It's ceramic. Um, I think it's super cool. Maybe my husband will like it. I do have to clean it up. It's got some gunk around there. But I love it. It's really cool. Second thing I found was this cute mug. Uh, I haven't taken off all the stickers. Uh, this was $1.99, but it's a white tag and it was half off today, so it was a dollar. I don't know, it's hand painted. When you feel it, you can tell that it's been hand painted. Um, Stonecrest 305 Pamela Korea. I don't know. Check that out, but it's super pretty. I just think it's pretty. I looked everywhere to see if it had a mate, but it was a loner, and that made me want it even more. I said a few videos ago that I was going to start reselling on eBay as well. All these hard good stuff is most likely going to go on eBay. Um, if you haven't heard, Poshmark is actually going to start doing um, selling home good stuff, which is pretty exciting. But I heard that it can't be anything glass so that limits what I have um, but we'll see I haven't done research on this one I couldn't find anything on it a dollar I'd probably be, probably be fine <laughs> selling it for like 12 12 15 bucks so this mug I fell in love with this one as you can see it's mostly mugs that I got but I love mugs I'm a sucker for mugs Go ahead and take a look at it. It's a hummingbird and beautiful flowers. And I love the painting and the colors and the glaze on it. It's just stunning. Is it a hummingbird? No, I think it's a dove. It's a dove. I love it. It has a signature de Sosa or de Sosa, Mexico. A dollar. Uh, I don't know if I'm keeping it or selling it. My husband hasn't seen any of this stuff and he loves keeping stuff. So he might really love this and this stein but a dollar for this gorgeous piece like this is 20 bucks for sure it's too beautiful i'm saving this one for last because it's a story <laughs> and it's upsetting a little bit <laughs> so this one i thought was freaking adorable it's speckled and it's vintage it's japan made i don't know if it's an otagiri it might it might not be um but super cute 69 cents 69 cents um 12 15 bucks how stinking cute is this guy i was just doing a last minute sweep at the goodwill and i just saw it has a stamp like a signature <laughs> i didn't see that earlier but i was just doing a last minute sweep and i saw this guy on the shelf and i was like oh my gosh he's so cute i don't know if i'm keeping him or i'm selling him but i love him i think he'd be so cute on a bookshelf or a on a shelf um i paid four dollars for him there you go four bucks but he's so cute 
And he does have a stamp, like I said. I think it's a 1980 or 1990. I don't know. Go ahead and take a look. Hopefully it focuses. Super cute. I love this guy. I'm excited about him. All right, this guy. So I was looking at all the mugs. And in between all of them, I saw Starbucks. Oh, my cat, hold on. My cat is the worst. Okay, so in between all the mugs, I see a Starbucks little insignia right there. I was like, oh, cool, let me check it out. I've never seen a Starbucks mug like this. It's from Lima, Peru. I was like, oh, that's super cool. And I know that the travel Starbucks mugs can be worth money. So I looked it up. It was priced at 69 cents. So I had nothing to lose. I looked it up before I went to the to the register and these are selling for 30 to 40 dollars. I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, yes, because I don't need this. I don't have to keep it. It's like cool. I'd put it up and I'd make my whole all my money back from today and yesterday. Well, when I get to the line at the register, the lady's talking to me. And I get really awkward sometimes. I don't know how to make conversation with people. So I just, yeah, yeah, uh -huh, I just want to go, like, stop. But I tried this time, and we were talking, and she was saying, oh, this is cute. Oh, this is so cute. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, ooh, you can never go wrong with the Starbucks mug. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I like them. <laughs> and then as she scanned it, I noticed this chip. You see that? I don't know how I didn't catch it at the beginning. I don't know. But I can't sell it. <laughs> Look at it. It's like right on the lip. I hope you guys can see it. It's awful. So lesson learned. Pay attention. <laughs> Look at everything. It was probably because I was starving and crazy and dying of thirst. Which I still am. I haven't eaten. That's probably why I didn't notice it. And then when I got home, I didn't I didn't care. I was like, oh, it's just a chip, whatever. And then when I got home and was setting everything down to make this, I saw that how huge it is. It's like a gaping hole. So that sucked. <laughs> That's a bust, but like I said, it was only 69 cents. I paid for that lesson. All right, so yesterday I did go, like I mentioned, yesterday I also went sourcing. Um, I went to the Goodwill, another Goodwill, and I got two pairs of shoes which shoes do pretty good for me. I never pick them up because I hate having to clean shoes, but these are in pretty great condition. I'm still gonna clean them up, but yeah, check these bad boys out. They're Chinese laundry, which I don't think is very expensive or popular. I personally love Ch Chinese laundry. I think their shoes are so comfy, but I got them because the insides are super clean. The bottoms are super clean. And all around them are they're just really clean shoes and they're perfect for summer and I saw that they were a green tag and green tags were half off so instead of paying ten dollars I paid five and that's about as low as you can get to pay um, that's about as low as you're gonna pay for shoes so I thought that was a sweet deal five bucks for these pairs these pair this pair five dollars for this pair I thought was wonderful and I'll probably list them at starting at $40 um, I saw that they had sold for 25 to 30 so I'm just gonna start at 40 the other pair of shoes that I got are Dolce Vita Dolce Vita I don't know how you say that but it's that that brand and I see it a lot at um, like Nordstrom Rack Nordstrom Rack pretty much <laughs> but they are super cute look at that again green tag $9.99 they were five bucks inside super clean bottom super clean these have not been worn either of these both of these have not been worn I just think that's crazy it is real fur it's dead calf um 100% leather nine and a half like these are stunning so cute um again I did look them up and they are selling around 40 35 to 40 I'm just gonna start at 45 so yeah, that was exciting for shoes. I never pick up any shoes. If you guys have seen my other videos, you know I have this borderline obsession with uh, slip slip dresses, like using lingerie as out, outerwear. 
Um, and so that's what I mainly got. Uh, but the first piece is um, Trina Turk. I don't know if you guys have heard of her clothing line. There's a tag, Trina Turk. Her stuff is super expensive. Like I'm talking about hundreds of dollars expensive. Um, I have only gotten her stuff twice before. Once, no, tw twice before I listed her stuff. It w One was like a, it looked like a wool jacket, but it was 100% silk and it was light. And another one was like a metallic crop jacket, which that I still have on my Poshmark. It hasn't sold. But the other one sold within like a week of me listing it and it sold for like 30 to $40. So that was awesome. And I got it for six bucks. And so that's why I decided to pay up a little bit for this one. Six dollars might not sound like a lot to some people, but for me, that's a lot of money for one piece. I don't usually spend that much on something. Max three dollars is what I'll spend per piece. But this I paid six dollars. It's a really cute like tunic. It's called sea green. It's a size small. It's really pretty. It's amazing condition, has no flaws, stains, rips, or tears. Um, and the comps are amazing. I was so excited when I saw the comps. Um, they were like 40 to $60, which is why I decided to pay up for it. Um, I'll probably list it because I, I think there was a lot on Poshmark listed and a lot had sold. I didn't see what sizes were listed, so I'll have to double check that, but I'll probably list this starting at 50 or 60 bucks. It's super cute. It's this really pretty powder blue, robin's egg blue. It's like a sleepwear top, but this is too cute to wear to sleep. You know how I feel about this. It's got a cute little rosebud bow and some awesome applique or embroidery, I think. Yeah, it's an embroidery. I got this for $2. And it is Oscar de la Renta. It's the pink label. So cute. What size is it? Extra large. That's a great size. I love it. It's super cute. Um, I've sold Oscar de la Renta uh, lingerie before. I think I, I put it in another haul that I have. And it sold like within a few days. And I got, I think, 25 bucks for it when I bought it for a dollar. Or two, three dollars, something like that. So... This should do well. It's in perfect condition, has no flaws. So since I got it for $2, I'll probably list it starting at 30. Um, lowest I'm gonna take is 20. This one I got at Salvation Army. This one I got at Goodwill. Go ahead and take a look at the tag. It is a size medium. I paid $4 for it. Again, I just think I've had good experiences with this brand before, so I figured I'd, up, I'd pay up a little bit. It's this really pretty slip dress. I love it. I love the color. It's very summer, fall. So even if you don't wear it for the summer, this would be really cute in the fall with like a trench coat and some stockings underneath and brown boots. I don't know. I love things like this that transition all year around. And again, for the summer, this is really cute just to step out, you know, get the crap out of the house kind of dress or sleep. I don't know, you can do whatever you want, but I think these things are way too pretty to just go to sleep in. Absolutely. <gasps> Harley! <laughs> oh my gosh! My freaking cat! My cat swiped at it, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I just saw this tag. Oh, it's nothing. But look at how stunning this piece is. It's so cute. I'm still like in shock my cat did that. But this is freaking cute. It's very sheer, so watch out for that. Um, but it's so pretty. It was a green tag and green was half off. So instead of four bucks, it was $2. Let me have you look at the tag so you can see. Um, this is a vintage piece. There you go. Expressions, I think. Yeah, Expressions by California Dynasty. Very, very cute. Um, it looks like someone did alter it. The straps aren't adjustable, but it looks like someone did like try to shorten them. But on the other side, the side that actually shows, it was done really well. So I figured I'd pick it up because it was 
it was unique. This is velvet and the rest is just sheer and lace. So, and this one is a size, it doesn't say. Uh, it doesn't say the size, but I wanna say it's a medium, medium large. My freaking cat, she knows she got in trouble. She's over there in the corner just staring at me. All right, so here's another slip dress. It The tag looks like it's from the 90s. Um, it doesn't look very vintage, but it's definitely got 90s vibes going on. It is a size large. It's just this slip dress. I love it. It has a high-low. Um, if you can see, it's, it's high-low. And it's got a uh, like sheer material up here and sequins. All the sequins are here. I just thought this was so pretty. A long maxi little black dress just on a summer night. It's an amazing condition. I looked it over a million times. I don't see any tears or anything. So two dollars. Um, I'd probably list this at like it's got a little strand right here, but I can just cut that off. Um, the straps are adjustable. I'd probably list this starting at 25 bucks. It is a vintage made in the USA with a union made tag, Fredericks of Hollywood. How cool can you see that? I thought that was so cool. I don't, I can't really tell when this was made. I want to say 80s or 90s. I just thought this was really cute. It's again a slip dress. It's maxi. It's got a freaking slit to cut. This slit is so high up, it's so sexy, and the lace is obviously completely sheer, so I don't think you can really wear this out unless you have another slip underneath. Like I said, I paid $2 for it, and I'll probably list it starting at $30, just because of the Union Made tag, and it's so unique and beautiful. Oh, I love it. That is my quick haul for you guys. Um, I didn't get very many things. I'm trying to be more picky right now. Um, Lately, Poshmark has been horrible, but this last week I sold like 15 to 20 things, which was amazing. I haven't had a week like that in a solid month. Um, so when that happened, I needed to go source and I finally have my car. So I was able to leave and go sourcing. So that was really exciting. My cat is meowing. Sorry about that. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you have any questions, any comments go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe um most of these things most of the things that i've shown you that are hard goods i haven't been putting on my ebay just yet i do have to finalize some things like i have to get bubble wrap and some boxes to start shipping them and when i do that i will let everyone know on my instagram the stuff that i'm uh listing as i do that so go ahead and follow my Instagram page. That's at Electric Hanger. I'm sorry, my cat keeps meowing. I'm so self-conscious about her. Hold on one second. I need to open the door. I'm in Harley. Like I was saying, I will let everyone know on my Instagram page when I have everything listed on eBay. And my Instagram handle for that is electric at Electric Hanger. Go ahead and follow me there for all my updates and just daily, you know, chit chats that I do. And like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me again. And if you're new here, check out my other videos. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.